Good morning. Welcome to another Higher Grounds podcast, Morning Minute Meditation. We've looked several uh, weeks or devotions um, at the subject of, of continuing and then continuing and by the grace of God finishing, uh, seeing the goal completed, persevering. And I think that's a needed element of the Christian life. I want to look today in Mark chapter number two. Um, Lord has just really uh, freshly given me some good things uh, out, of, out of this text. Uh, this is the chapter that begins by talking about Christ being in Capernaum and it being noise that he was in the house. And uh, I believe it ought to always be noise, celebrated, uh, talked about, made much of, um, that Jesus is in, the, is in his house and we want that to happen, uh, testify, worship him. But what I'm interested in about this chapter is we know that there's a man that's sick of the palsy uh, he, and he cannot get to Christ. But there were four men that stepped up. And those four men showed their compassion for the other man and them taking that corner. I thought our church recently is kind of like when someone goes to the altar. And I love it when somebody gets at the altar and then maybe somebody comes down and and gets around them and prays. They're kind of helping bear that burden up to the Lord. But one thing that's interesting about these four men is that I I don't know how far they carried him, but they brought this man to the house where Christ was, four men bearing him. And then the Bible said when they get there, they couldn't get in. So here's what they did. They got this man after carrying him so far. They went ahead instead of turning back because they couldn't get in the house. They carried this man up on the roof. What an amazing display of continuing. So we've got this far, but we're not turning back until we get an answer from heaven, until we get this man to Jesus. And so they got up on that roof. They continued through the adversity and pressing through. And the Bible said that the testimony of this event is that we never saw it on this fashion. I believe this genuinely. If we're going to see the Lord do something that we've never seen Him do, then we've got to be willing to do something that we've never done. And I want to be a part of that four or however many that's bearing up burdens, getting uh, getting our burdens to God, getting people to God, and then seeing God do some great things that I've never seen Him do that I know we can do. Thank you. Have a great day. May God bless.